but I don't recall <coughs> him, I never met him, but I don't recall him leaving to be candid. But, um, but The fallout from the LIBOR scandal is far from over as a top investment banker is under fire for supposedly misleading the UK Parliament. That was Alex Wilmot Sitwell, former co-head of UBS's investment bank, giving testimony to a UK parliamentary hearing in January this year about LIBOR manipulation. Asked about the circumstances in which a star UBS trader named Tom Hayes left the bank back in 2009, Mr. Wilmot Sitwell stated that he did not recall him. It was a relevant question. As Mr. Hayes has subsequently been cast as a central figure in the LIBOR rigging case in which benchmark interest rates were manipulated by traders within giant banks. But it now turns out that Mr. Wilmot Sitwell was on a series of emails back in July 2009 in which UBS executives discussed their efforts to convince Mr. Hayes not to leave the Swiss bank. The journal reviewed these emails, which haven't previously been publicly disclosed. One email from a top UBS executive to four other colleagues, including Mr. Wilmot Sitwell, read, I would like you to call Tom Hayes in Tokyo, please, and reiterate my words of comfort to him. Mr. Wilmot Sitwell is currently the president of Bank of America Merrill Lynch for Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. He told the journal that he doesn't remember the emails and that he never called Mr. Hayes. Mark Garnier, the British lawmaker whose questions elicited Mr. Wilmot Sitwell's remarks in Parliament, told the journal in an interview that the investment banker has got other questions to answer. For him to be part of this email chain and say he doesn't remember sounds pretty fanciful.